I'm fixing my clothes. Are y'all watching? See, I put on a white bra this morning with the black shirt. That was dumb. Oh, you didn't need to know that. Hi, I'm Carol with Let's Talk Dementia live on Facebook, and I'm glad you've chosen to join me while I try to dress myself. Oh, well. Today, I would like to be very, very thankful for a lot of things. We just got some good news in our world, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But anyway, a special thanks to our sponsors, Life in the Carolinas. You can find them at www.lifeinthecarolinas.com and on YouTube. You can find out exactly what it's like to live in North and South Carolina. Life in the Carolinas, where it's never a bad day for a good story. And also HD Imports, located on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina. You can reach them at 803-985-0985. They are the mechanic of choice for the Howell household, as we're big Honda people. And they repair and maintain Honda, Kia, Toyota, Acura, and Hyundai. Did I leave something out? Anyway, they re repair those cars and you want them on your side, so thank you to them. You know, when you get test results back and it says, your mammogram was clear, come back in a year. You go, well, that was good. Or you get your blood work results back and it says, doctor says, all your numbers look great, let's check them again in your year. You go, that's good, I'm so glad. Let's think about when you get that mammogram result back and it says, we need to retest. Uh, we have detected a suspicious spot. Uh, it starts landing on you a little different. And at that point you think, man, how good it would have been if that test result had us said, all is clear. Then it, you, at that point you think, oh, I would have been so very excited. When in truth, we're not. We just kind of fluff it by in our day. Well, yesterday morning my husband went for his yearly blood work and um, he is a cancer survivor and we have to check for specific test markers in his blood and makes me a little nervous every year about time to go get that done. He had it done yesterday morning and I don't know how, but already on his um, website for the, I don't know, what is it, Novant or something like that, was his blood results. How'd they do that that quick? They did it, they read it, they sent it to the doctor, the doctor wrote a note and sent it to Michael. That's crazy. But that marker came back at less than 0 0.1. I think, folks, I might have just lost 25 pounds. Unfortunately, none of it came off my bottom half. <laughs> but it came off in pressure and tension that you just, you know, you trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. You know we're not good at that. We have to, we have to lean on ourselves just a little bit, don't we? Yeah, I wish we didn't. So I'm very thankful for that. Cholesterol still needs a little bit of work. I don't know what the poor dude's going to cut out of his diet, but it ain't much left. So I'm very thankful this morning. <clears throat> and considering some of the sadness that's been going on in my world, but in the midst of that sadness, a whole lot of celebration. Um, celebrating Mama's home going and where she is, and, and now celebrating Michael's good blood work. Thank you, Lord. I'm very thankful for both those things. Well, Today, I wanted to talk with you about a subject that I was asked yesterday. I'm going to be speaking Saturday um, at a big event at Trinity United Methodist Church on Florida Street in Gastonia, North Carolina. If you have not signed up, you need to do so. And I would love to right about now tell you the phone number. Hold on, I'm going to get it. Um, you have to call and, and register. It's free, but they only have so much seating and they are starting to get full. I know I posted this yesterday. Y'all just Y'all just chill there a minute. Mm -hmm -hmm. Phone number is 704-842-0510. You'll talk to Mr. Mark Hanna and he'll reserve you a seat. But at our meeting yesterday, <clears throat> got something in my throat. He said, Carol, a subject I would like for you to address on Saturday is how to handle life when your loved one who has dementia is in denial about the fact that they have dementia. That's a good question. Um, it's not something I've addressed a lot of times. In my world with my mama, when she was diagnosed in August of 2006, she embraced that diagnosis, and not once did she fight it. Never would she say, I'm fighting Alzheimer's. And she told us early on, I'm not fighting it. I am embracing it, and I am learning to live my life the best I can with the diagnosis I have. She did that. She conquered that. But there are plenty of us in this world that would deny that diagnosis. All right, let's come out of the world of dementia for a while. And right now I'm gonna to talk to you as if dementia is not part of the story. 
I sit here having all my life fought the Battle of the Bulge. I've lost 100 pounds. Since April, I've lost 12 pounds. Oh, I'm excited about that if it just won't find me again. But I'm aware of what's going on. But let me tell you what I don't want, so don't do this. I don't want you to sit me down and go, Now, Carol, you know that if you were to lose 40 pounds, you would be so much healthier, and all your blood work would be better. P.S. My blood work's really good. But you would be healthier, and your heart would be happier, and you would live longer, and you'd have less strain on your knees and your hips and your ankles. You would be a happier, healthier person. Now, Carol, you just need to acknowledge this is a problem and do something about it. I just want you to imagine how well that would go over with me. I can tell you, you would leave my Christmas list. That's what would happen. I'd be like, "Uh uh-uh. I cannot believe you said that to me. Have you looked at yourself? There are things about you that need changing too. And why you at it? Buy a new pair of jeans because those look awful on you. (laughs) It would not have come out as a pleasant conversation. I don't have dementia that I'm aware of. I am able to think and process. I am able to actually understand maybe why you might say that to me, but that ain't going to come in my brain when you say that to me. All right, now let's go back into the world of dementia. We've got someone who has recently been diagnosed. Y'all, hold on. I got to get something to drink here. You know, I got Kermit who lives there. You've got someone who's recently been diagnosed with dementia. We're going to, at this point, assume that they are in early stage of their disease. They are still functioning. They may still be working and driving. And probably most people in the world will be surprised they find out have dementia. But they're in denial. What do you do? Okay, you've had that conversation. You realize they're like, I don't have dementia. I'm fine. I can still work. The checkbook still balances. I'm driving. I don't have dementia. Okay, you can argue with them. I just want to know how well you think that's going to go. It's not. You may try having that conversation going, okay, you know, I understand, sweetheart, you don't think you have dementia. Can I just talk about how I'm a little concerned and what the future looks like if, in fact, it's true you do? And I agree. We need to do some more testing. We need to make sure that what we found out is correct. But I'm just a little scared. Can we talk about that? Put that emphasis of that conversation on you. Nothing to do with that person, but on you and see if they then will respond in a way where you can have a conversation. But if they don't, you need to let that go for a while. If there's one planet on one person on the planet who knows they're having problems cognitively, it's the person with the problem. They knew it before you did. Believe me, they noticed that they had to really think hard to figure things out that they should not have to think hard about. So you pounding on them, you got dementia. The doctor said you got dementia. Here, take this medicine and no, you can't drive and I'm taking your keys. Yeah, not too good of a plan. Now, let's suppose that diagnosis came through for someone who is mid-stage. They're very far into their disease. Honey, if there's one thing you don't need to do is argue with somebody with dementia. Arguing with somebody who's recently been diagnosed with dementia is not smart, but arguing with somebody who is mid-stage or later makes you the not smart one in this story. That's a nice way of saying dumb, because that's just really dumb. You don't want to argue with, or you don't want to try to be logical or to prove a logic point with someone whose brain is diseased. Does that make any sense at all to you? It does not to me. They cannot function the way they want. Their brain will not process information the way they want it to. They can't help that. There's nothing they can do to fix that. And you arguing with them when your brain does work. Tells me who the dumb one is in this story. Who the one with the mental issue is. And it's not your person with dementia. It's you. So don't do that. Just don't do that. Don't argue. If they tell you there are aliens falling from the sky, then your response needs to be, Oh man, that's cool. What color are the aliens? Are they purple? What do they look like? How many do you see? Enter that world. Talk to them about it. If they don't want to talk about their their dementia diagnosis, then we're not going to talk about it because they are not going to be able to process that information. Makes sense to you. It was neat with Mama. Even on her deathbed, um, I said, Mama, several times, I think the Lord's calling you home, and I think I think you need to go. We're going to be okay. Mama, you've had Alzheimer's for a long time, and I think it's just time to go and be healed from Alzheimer's. Now, how much of that my mom was getting 
I don't know. But I still included that word in that conversation with Mama because she embraced it from August of 2006. I'm telling you, all the way until her death. It is different. It, it makes the journey different for you, for you as the family member, um, when the person does or does not embrace it. So now, if you're dealing with dementia and you're in denial about it and you want to talk about it, then you email me, carol at letstalkdementia.org. I will um, either email you back or if you put your phone number, I'll call you and we can talk about your diagnosis from a point where I'm not involved in your world. I'm not emotionally involved in your life. Ma'am, I'm a little bit more on the periphery and maybe that conversation would feel better for you. I'm happy to do that. But I'm also happy to talk to you folks as, as you are the caregivers. And that's my email, carol at letstalkdementia.org. Write that down and write me with what's going on in your world. I had a, a viewer write me, and uh, I guess it was somewhere around the time that Mama really, really got bad. And she said, will you call my friend? She needs you so much. And I felt bad, and I wrote back, and I said, I just can't do it right now. I am not in a position to be giving any kind of support at all um, to my clients because my brain's not working. And she was kind enough to say, that's fine. She'll be here when you, when, when you finish this part of your journey. And I talked to her yesterday or day before, and it was a great conversation, and I hope I was able to give some good information to my friend Gwen. And um, Gwen, I'm still here for you, and I'm here for the rest of you folks too. What time is it? My time flies so fast in the mornings. Um, I received a, a Facebook message from my friend Beth. Beth, you're listening. I see you talking about had I, did I have any thoughts on this um, information that diet sodas have a link to dementia? Yeah, I got some thoughts on that. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. Thank you, Beth, for sending that. That special thanks to our sponsors, HD Imports, located on Flint Street Extension. Call them for the maintenance and repair of your cars. You'll be glad you did. And then Life in the Carolinas, you can find them at um, www.lifeinthecarolinas.com and on YouTube. I thank you for joining me. Tomorrow I am going to um, have uh, be holding my book again, and I will have the link for you to purchase it available thought I was going to have that yesterday, and it didn't quite happen, and it's still not quite happened, but my my company does my website. It's going to fix that for me, and my husband's got to go dig a book out from all the boxes of junk we've got put away. <laughs> Bless his little heart. You guys have a good day. See you tomorrow, 8.15. Bye.